Conflict is center to many of our experiences in role-playing games. So what type of conflicts do we use, and what can they do for our games? <laughs> There are considered to be four basic types of literary conflict. There is man against man, man against society, man against nature, and man against self. Not all games need to have conflict to work, but most do. Indeed, most games have mechanics based around conflict resolution. So let's start off taking a look at each of these types of conflict. Probably the most common type of conflict we see is man against man. Although one or both parties may be alien or orc, it's still man against man. And this is because it's the easiest form of conflict to get players interested in. Uh, due to the excitement level of violence and character investment, and it's seen in most game systems. Man against society can be referring to the institutions or conventions of our world around us. A conflict against a church, a government, bigotry, that type of thing falls under man against society. And this tends to allow for more ambiguous antagonism, potential bleed-in if the character has a dis dislike of a similar institution. Misspent youth is a fine example of man against society. Man against nature represents conflicts with the world around you which is not created by man, that being animal, weather, and so forth. Often this is used for non-pivotal conflicts in a lot of games, or as a factor in a larger conflict. Games that deal with this more directly tend to be Mouse Guard, or Fronts in Apocalypse World can certainly represent a natural opposition. Man against self represents an internal conflict against your nature, your weakness, or a difficult decision. My experience finds that this works better in games that are GMless, as they allow the player the narrative control necessary to focus the game inward when the spotlight is on them. These do tend to come up randomly in play, as characters go through their lives as well, of course, and some games will target it directly, often by having you write down what is pivotal to your character. Beliefs in, a in Burning Wheel come to mind, as well as Oath's Endurance. But how do we apply this knowledge of conflict? Well, we need to know what types of conflicts a game is about. We need to know how these types of conflicts will be addressed with the mechanics and fiction. And we, know, we need to know what types of conflicts the players are being rewarded for overcoming. Obviously, players may have interest in one type of conflict over another. A player may not be interested in overcoming weather, but might be interested in overcoming another person. Not every game needs to be about life and death to be compelling. It doesn't even need to be significantly focused on conflict. But many are. We need to make the most of that. If conflict is at the core of a game's design, we must look very closely at what types of experiences the players will have out of these conflicts. Relevant links are below, and as always, I hope that your next game is even better than your last.